Hello everyone and welcome to episode one of the Wild Wild Web, a series where I've been tasked to browse the World Wide Web and discover places that you've probably never been before. My name is Gabe Helmy and I'm gonna be the host throughout the series for each episode. In each episode, I'm gonna explore a different aspect that's really gonna show how diverse the internet can be from socializing with people online to just finding the weirdest corners of the internet. Which is exactly how we're gonna start this series by going through this list of the weirdest websites that I could possibly find, which I've searched deep down into the internet to find all of these links. And I think I have the perfect one to start with, so sit back, relax, and get ready to see things you did not ask to see. The first website to start off with, I think it's appropriate to start off with a website that claims to be the nicest place on the internet. Dot net. It's in the URL. Starting this series with something wholesome will be good compared to what's coming. This is still weird though, because when you click to enter this site, and you're forced to receive a virtual hug by a random person. And then after that one, it keeps going. Someone else gives you a hug. This website is an endless roll of people hugging their camera to make you feel like you're getting hugged. I don't know why this is made. I think maybe to fill some kind of void in your life, then you need a hug. Maybe one of you out there could find comfort in this guy hugging you. And what makes this website interactive, if you click this button, give a hug, you can submit yourself giving a camera a hug and then you will now be in the loop of giving people hugs virtually forever. Normally, if I ran into this website, I don't think I would submit my own hug, but for the video, I made a special video and I submitted it to this website. You might be seeing it on the screen now. It definitely wasn't awkward to film at all. So let me know if any of you end up getting a hug from me. The next website on the list I want to get to, I actually want to talk about this one because it's disappearing forever soon. The URL is just scream.baby. And it's a place where they offer this phone number where you're supposed to call and leave a voicemail of you screaming. That's it, and then you just hang up. It says you might be unhappy, terrified, frustrated, or elated. All of these are perfectly good reasons to call and record yourself screaming. So this was made to pretty much help you guys, and if you have some kind of frustration that you need to take out, this website is there for you. And what makes this website even better is that every scream they get, they upload, and we can all listen to them. I couldn't tell if that was a guy or a girl with the laugh at the end. Some of these are really long. You can see how long they are. This one's 30 seconds. Hey everybody. I just wanted to say that I know the world is a bit of a dumpster fire at the moment. This is not and a screen. A hurting. Just take one day at a time. Know that you are loved. And just try and hold on for now. Love. That's it. <laughs> I mean, that was a nice message, but why did he give a motivational speech on the scream line? I don't even think that was a scream. I think they just burped into the phone. Let me stop, I can go through, I can make a whole video just going through these. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, this website is disappearing soon. In fact, tomorrow, when I'm filming this, the 21st, which sucks. So I think you'll still be able to listen, but I don't know if you'll be able to call, which is why I need to call right now before it's gone. Problem is I have to scream. I'm not mad or anything. I'm in a great mood. So I guess I'll do a small scream. Welcome. This is just scream dot baby. <laughs> Please record a scream to share. Wait for the beep scream, then hang up. Ah! I'll hang up. I guess that's it. I did it. That happened so fast. Okay, try to find my scream. I should be one of the last because it's ending tomorrow. The next corner of the internet I want to check out. This might be one of the more random websites. We're going to see it called covidinvaders.com. And hey, you know, after the year we all had, this might be kind of satisfying because someone made an entire website dedicated to just 
shooting the vaccine at COVID and killing it. I think what really makes this website great is the soundtrack they made to go along with it. COVID invaders, COVID invaders, just killed a virus with the vaccine. I got 32. The high score is like 2 billion. Can you imagine literally spending that, that much time on this game? The next website on the list. Now, this is the website I have to say I was the most shocked when I found it. And I still don't know if it's real. I don't, I, I don't think it is. Basically, I found a couple websites that are dedicated to sending something bad in the mail to people you don't like anonymously to just to annoy them or something. Like you might've heard of something called a glitter bomb that when someone opens it is supposed to make a big mess of glitter. This website, thepayback.com takes it to a whole new level and you could ship something like dead flowers or even a dead fish, it says which I don't support that. I don't support that one. But even all of those websites, they don't compare to a website called crabrevenge.com. It's basically the same concept as the other websites, but they advertise to send a glass vial of pubic lice. Uh, do I need to repeat that? I, that's, I literally said that, pubic lice. It says it right here. And it says, yes, we are proud of it. We sell you revenge in a plastic vial. Oh, it's plastic. To give your ex-girlfriend or whoever has pissed you off. I feel like this has to be a prank or a gag gift. Look at the graphics they have. It's just a little up close of a pubic lice. You can really add it to your cart. You can pay for the shipping and you can add your credit card info, but there's no way they would actually send me lice, right? I'm declaring that this is a prank website. I don't think it actually will send you real crabs. Okay, let's move on to the next website. Now this one could maybe be the most interesting thing we're gonna talk about. As the technology gets better, there's a couple websites coming out with the ability to be able to clone your voice so that I could type something and it'll come out as my voice, but I don't actually have to say it. The one I'm gonna be using is resemble.ai. Here's how you do it. It says, you are creating the voice for Gabe. Speak clearly with a good microphone and no background noise. So I pretty much just have to say a bunch of sample sentences and then that's how they're gonna get my voice. This is a microphone check. The data recorded on the platform will be used to generate my voice by resemble. Okay, submit. So I have to do this 50 times. Who had been watching me through the long night hours? A wolf had been feasting too greedily and a bone had struck crosswise in his throat. For two days, Paris has been living on salt meat. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Okay, I'm back and it's finished. It no longer says training, it says finished. I didn't know this before. It goes so in depth that you can change the emotion of my clone's voice. I can make him angry, annoyed, question, or happy. I'm gonna choose that one because I want my clone to be happy. What should I type to make it talk? I just, just. Hello everyone, I am Robot Gabe. Nice to meet you. Okay, that sounded a little off, but that sounded pretty close to me. This is just the first version too. I think you can build the voice to become even better if you submit a lot more of those phrases that I had to say. I could really harness this technology and use it that maybe I don't even have to be on camera anymore. It can replace me and I can edit myself in post. Now that that loser is gone, it's just you and me. I am the new host now. We don't need real human beings. Moving on to the next website. Now this was supposed to be a wholesome corner of the internet. When I found it, I got excited just because of the name. It's called drawacat.net where anyone from online can draw and submit their own cat. But this is the wild, wild web and people ruined this website with way too revealing drawings. There's no filter on it. So people just drew the most, most inappropriate things. This could have been such a wholesome website from the concept. I even made, drew my own cat. And the cool thing about it, it animates. When you make a cat, you can play with it. My cat kind of looks like it's on crack with the eyes, but that's fine. Here's a kind of inappropriate one I could, I could show. Instead of a cat, someone drew a fat guy with flies around him. Why does it do this? This is how it animates this guy. His man boobs are moving the ball. 
And moving on to the next one, let's get that image out of my head. The websites I've checked out, they've been pretty cool. So I think we need to check out one that is completely pointless and adds no value to this video. Spaghettiinajar.com. And when you go to it, you're brought to exactly that. Just three jars of spaghetti. And that is the entire website. You can't scroll up, you can't scroll down, but you can donate. Throughout my time when I was deep diving into the internet, I found a lot of these random websites that they there's no point of someone paying every year to keep these up. I don't even know if I should talk about chickenonaraft.com. Like, do you guys want to know about chickenonaraft.com? This is it. You've been on a raft with a chicken for 10 seconds. And finally, this is the last website we're going to talk about today, and it's great if you're all alone and have no friends to play with. It's called Emoji Scavenger Hunt, and it's a program that's going to give you a random object, and I have to run around my house and find that object, show it in front of the camera to win. At least that's, I think that's what I'm doing. So this should be fun. It's time pressured though, so I don't know if I like it because I'm going to be very rushed. Okay, let's play. Oh God, three, two, one, find a keyboard. I did it! Wow, okay, wow, what are the chances I just happen to have a, a keyboard behind me? Okay, next. Three, two. A phone? <laughs> I did it! Pants? I, had to, I took off my pants just for this. Recognize it. It's not recognizing it. Okay, and finally, to end this video, that actually wasn't the last website because I found the official last page of the internet. If you go to 1112.net slash lastpage.html, that you have reached the very last page of the internet. We hope you enjoyed your browsing. Now turn off your computer and go outside. And that's what I'll do. So that's it. That's all the websites I'm gonna go through for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed browsing the weird side of the internet with me. I'll be back very soon with episode two, doing something completely different. So until then, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, enjoy life, and I'll see you in a couple days with episode two.